name is Juanita and I'm going to take you through some tips and tricks on how to create a successful marketing strategy. The first step to creating a winning marketing strategy is to determine what your business goals are. Without that step, you're wasting your time and resources. So in this video, we will be taking a look at the 10 potential business goals that you can use as a basis for any marketing strategy. Just a side note, these aren't the only objectives of a business. However, these are the most prevalent and crucial to your marketing strategy. Creating a plan or strategy without an objective is like being sent to the supermarket to buy missing ingredients for something, but you don't know what the ingredients are going to be used for. You're never going to buy the right things. You need to be specific in your plans on what you are trying to accomplish. Otherwise, you are likely just wasting your time and money and won't see the growth in your business or branding that you would like. With an increase in brand awareness, potential customers can recall, recognize, and remember the brand because they have already seen them a few times. Understand what a lead is. A lead is a person who has expressed interest in a product or service that your company provides. Qualifying a lead is the process of determining whether a lead meets the requirements to purchase your product or service. If you are not qualifying your leads properly, you'll waste a lot of time following up and attempting to sell to prospects that aren't a good fit for your company. Lead generation is the process of attracting and converting strangers or prospects into someone who has indicated interest in your company's products or services. Many people make the mistake of thinking that lead nurturing and lead generating are the same thing. Lead nurturing is the process of developing and reinforcing relationships with buyers at every stage of the sales funnel. The point of a lead nurturing campaign is to establish trust and convince consumers to choose one brand over another. Direct sales eliminates the middlemen involved in distribution. Instead, products are sent directly from the manufacturer to the sales company, then to the rep or distributor, and finally to the consumer. Nurturing customer relationships boils down to focusing on their needs and building trust that will solidify your relationship with them in the future. Customers' trust referrals, recommendations, and reviews are banked on more than conventional advertisements. Cross-selling is getting a customer to purchase products and services in addition to something they have already purchased or agreed to purchase. Whereas upselling is aimed at persuading customers to choose a more expensive, upgraded or premium version of the chosen item or other add-ons for the purpose of making a larger sale. Side note, upselling is the practice of encouraging customers to buy a comparable higher-end product than the one in question, whilst cross-selling invites the customers to buy related or complementary items. Product training focuses on the options and benefits of what you sell. This can include what the product is, how it works, what problems it can solve, how much it costs, and everything else you may need to know to confidently use the product. When our objectives are defined with measurable standards for success, it becomes easier to work towards them. So remember, our key question is, what do you want to achieve? As we wrap up this video, remember, objectives should always be concrete and associated to a timeline so that it becomes immediately clear if you have accomplished what you set out to achieve. So guys, that was the basis for your strategy, selecting the right objective for your marketing campaign. Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you at the next video.